Good afternoon ladies and gents and welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for clicking that button and joining me for today's video. Hope you're all well. Now then, ladies and gents, just last week I was in talks with the fantastic staff over at the canvastentshop.co.uk and they were looking for someone to do something with their Jaluxe Cocoon 5m canvas bell tent. Long and short of it, I said to them, put it in the post and I will do my utmost to showcase that bell tent to all of my fantastic viewers. So that is what we are going to do today. So let's get the obvious out of the way first. This thing is bloody huge. This is one of the canvas tent shop's largest bell tents. But the thing that sets this one off from all other bell tents is first of all the colour. Now this is highly appealing to me being olive green and I know this is going to appeal to a lot of my viewers. So we are going to do a contents check on the tent but first I'd just like to remark on how roomy and how baggy the actual container bag is. This is constructed from the same canvas as the tent but as you can see we've got plenty of room here which is going to be good news for when we pack the tent away. Uh, we should get that back in there, fingers crossed, no problem. So the tent bag itself looks to be of fantastic quality, really nice stitching all the way around, double stitch on the handles. The zip does feel actually quite quality there, very easy snag free zip. This looks to be their own proprietary uh, zipper system, but again, nice, chunky, snag free. And then we have double stitching each side along the zip. And again, the colour is absolutely fantastic. So going into the contents of the tent bag. And while we're doing this, I will give you a bit more information on the tent. So first of all, we receive a lovely canvas pole bag, again with a, a branding on the front. Again, everything looks nice, nice and nicely stitched. The pole bag is actually lined inside to stop moisture, but in here we should have all relevant poles. They look to be galvanised aluminium, which again is nice. So, everything we need inside that bag. It's nice to see the instructions have been stitched actually inside the pack on this one, so you can't lose them and everything looks to be uh, self-explanatory and easy to follow. We have four steps. Um, this is a single man erection, -er, so we should have no trouble um, getting this up in the local park, which is where, we're at, where we are today. Obviously being a five by five meter tent, we're gonna need the space. Um, and this supposedly can be erected in under 30 minutes, so we'll give that a go. We have another canvas bag. Again, the canvas tent shop logo on the front. I must say, dealing with the staff over the last few weeks and months, it's been an absolute pleasure. Um, really nice, friendly, helpful staff. Um, they just go above and beyond. So we have any of your inquiries. So in this bag, we have bloody hell, um, a number of, let's count these. We have two types of peg in this. So first of all, it looks to be some absolute beefy rebar pegs here. So two, four, Six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen pegs there. Um, again, solid rebar, and I think these are for the outer bell of the actual tent. And then we have some standard, um, looks to be around eight or nine inch um, standard pegs for the actual ground sheet, pegging out the ground sheet. We also have all relevant guy ropes supplied with the tent. These look to be around 10 mil reflective. And then we have the aluminium tensioners just on the ends of each one here. So nice quality again. And you are also supplied with a couple of repair patches here. Um, a 540 GSM, I believe for the base, for the floor. And then we have the 350 GSM um, canvas patch for any repairs you may require on the actual tent itself. So I do hope that time lapse turned out, but if it didn't I do apologise, but that has literally just taken me no more than 20 minutes to erect by myself on the local park. So now we've seen just how easy the Cocoon Deluxe canvas bell tent is to put up. I must say I do love this style of tent, and this design of tent has been used for over a thousand years now, and the only thing that's put me off only one in the past is the daunting idea of actually putting one up by yourself. But with the fantastic features that do come with the Cocoon Deluxe bell tent, such as the zips and ground sheet, 
erecting this again is an absolute breeze. Now before we go over all of the fantastic tent features, let's get the one question out of the way with that I know you're all asking, how much is this tent? Well currently it is on sale at the Canvas Tent Shop for £616, but if you use code STE10 at checkout you will get an extra 10% off, so for what you're getting here it's an absolutely bargain price and you're getting a lot of tent for your money and a bloody big tent at that. So starting at the front doors, the full tent is constructed from 350 GSM canvas which is a nice middle of the road weight uh, meaning it will keep you nice and cool in the summer months and warmer in the winter months. Opening the doors, the one great feature that stood out to me when looking at this tent was the actual inners. Now in a lot of bell tents you do have to buy this as an optional extra with the Cocoon Deluxe this is actually included in the package which is very very nice and that is the fine mesh inner doors which will keep you safe from any invasion of small biting insects very nice zips on both of them again very nice and chunky, very well stitched and this is just a fantastic bonus feature included with the tent another nice feature implemented into the bathtub floor is the ability to up enabling you to lay flat the entrance reducing any risk of tripping up when you've had that one too many bottles of wine another nice feature built into the canvas bell tent is the pre-installed stove jack meaning if you do choose to use a hot tent stove in this tent the location of that stove is already predetermined meaning you don't have to make any scary cuts to your canvas fabric Now ladies and gents, as you can imagine being a 5 metre tent sleeping 6, the internals of this tent are absolutely cavernous and I will show you that in a short while. The first feature I'd like to show you inside are the 1 of 4 included zip down half moon windows. Um, these are again meshed to protect you from them bugs and you'll be amazed how much light um, this lets in when all these windows are zipped down. Now being olive green in colour you can imagine this is going to be a shade darker than your traditional sand coloured bell tent. But like I say, when all of these four windows are down, you'd be amazed how much light these do let in. It's probably translating onto the camera now. And you get a lovely breeze coming through on the bottom half of the tent as well. Again, keeping you cool. We've also got a number of anchor points located on the inside of the tent. Uh, we have 11 in total. And these are handy if you want to hang your lanterns or fairy lights, if you want to get your ambiance on. Um, so plenty of ways to hang your gadgets. We also have a number of steel D-rings situated around the bottom of the ground sheet. These are for attaching your optional inner tent whether you choose to go that way although I've never seen one um, in one of these tents myself but they're there to use also on the left hand side of the door from inside the tent we have a zipped opening allowing for pass through of electrical cables so if you're using something like a small power station with an external solar panel all cables can be routed through here zip back up and the cables can be kept tidy and reducing trip hazards once again the vents at the peak of the bell tent are also mesh covered again keeping out the bugs Another really nice feature implemented into the ground sheet and I'm going to include this as a feature because it does aid in getting this tent up as quickly as it can be erected and that is the square patch in the middle of the ground sheet here. Uh, when you're walking in with your pole just look for this and plop the base of your pole down on there and that will ensure you've got your pole central again making it easier to get the tent set up. We have the doorway porch which is a simple matter of locating the pin into the brass hole and then the two legs that come down and sit either side into the pocket from the ground sheet very very simple indeed as you can see from the features i've shown you the folk over at canvas tent shop have added some really nice features there one to enable you to get this up in the simplest manner and two to add to your comfort when you're using the tent at camp now not only did the awesome ashley from canvas tent shop send me the cocoon deluxe canvas tent to share with you fine people he also sent me a number of items to complement the tent which i'm going to share with you now these items will be necessary if you do plan on adding your own hot tent stove to your new canvas bell tent. So first of all, they have sent me the Winnowell flashing kit for the large Nomad stove, which we'll introduce very soon. We have also got the fireproof floor mat to protect the ground sheet. Very kindly sent me a 14 cup stainless steel coffee percolator. This is absolutely a beautiful thing to behold with your eyes. And he also sent me the Winnowell triple wall chimney, which will protect our canvas and are flashing from the uh, extreme heat provided by the stove. Now all of these items are pretty useless without the inclusion of a lovely new hot tent stove to heat your canvas bell tent. And I've got just the one for you. But let me tell you straight off the bat, this is not a cheap item. 
but what this stove does include is an element of safety ensuring that you and your family will be safe from the possibility of carbon monoxide poisoning inside your bell tent. Now what we have here ladies and gents is one of Winnowell's more expensive stoves and this is the Winnowell Nomad Plus Double View external air large stove. This is a very very special feature that I'll show you now. Now the way in which the traditional hot tent stove works is it uses the oxygen inside your tent to fuel the stove. This one has a very special feature and that is this guy down here. With this being the external air, this has an external feed from outside of the tent, meaning it has its own supply of oxygen to feed the fire, um, leaving the remaining oxygen inside the tent safe for you to breathe, keeping you alive. So as you can see, even with one of Winnowell's largest hot tent stoves in this tent, you've still got absolute bootloads of room to move about. And again, with the pre-installed uh, stove jack here, the location of your stove is predetermined, but again, loads of room to move around. What we'll do now, ladies and gents, is install the flashing kit to accommodate the chimney off the stove. Now, installing the flashing kit again, guys, is extremely easy. We have a couple of wing nuts on the back, as we can see. The nuts are actually welded to the plate, so all it's a case of is separating the two rings. So all we're doing is installing the ring, place it over your existing stove jack, making sure that's nice and central and even, and then take a pen and just mark out each hole like so. I hope you can see this and my arm isn't in the way. We should get the general gist. Like so. Now what we're going to do is use an awl um, from my trusty Victorian ox and just make a hole through these. And then taking the awl just very carefully, push through, just make an hole big enough for the bolts. Now what we're going to do ladies and gents is take your wing nuts and your steel ring we're going to go inside the tent and push these in through the back of the stove jack. And now again the nuts are actually welded to the second ring so we can just place that over putting our hand through and just start winding these home. The second piece of the puzzle is the triple walled chimney which just sits in like so. So the flashing kit is now installed as you can see and that took less than 15 minutes and the stove is set up ready to go. Now obviously I'm on the local park so I won't be getting this fired up today because the fire brigade will probably um, be called in quick fashion but we are going on a family camp in the next two or three weeks so be sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll give you a tour of the uh, bell tent in full use including the stove but can I just point your attention to this absolutely awesome coffee percolator sent over again by Ashley this is going to make me a very very happy man in the mornings waking up at camp stunning bit of kit so just looking at things how it is now we got the tent up in around 20 minutes less than 20 minutes I'd say the flashing kit went in in less than 15 minutes and we're up and ready to go now there's one more thing I want to show you regarding the tent features and I think this one is its party piece. Now on them really really hot days where the weather is truly stifling and no amount of vents and windows will help maybe being able to raise every single wall in the tent and have a nice shady canopy above you will be just what you need. So guys, what do you reckon to that? Fantastic. So that's really very simple to do. All it is, is a zip on either side of the door. And that's a continuous zip right round to the back on each side. And then just push them down, raise your sides. Now it has been said on very many occasions that the canvas bell tent is famous for having the ability to weather any storm and that could very well be true especially when you consider something like this monster over here.
but it is on the canvas tent shops good advice that before you do take your brand new canvas bell tent out on its first camping adventure that you do season the fabric of that tent at least once. Now the canvas fabric has been treated with a DWR as well as a rock proof coating from the factory so the tent will be waterproof for the most part. The problem is the needles they use to actually stitch the seams create holes larger than the thread holding the seams together if that makes sense. So once that tent has had a good dousing and it is wettened um, them holes will shrink up making that tent fully watertight. There's a few ways we can do this if you have a property and a garden large enough you can just put that tent up in your garden give it a good douse with the holes and let that dry in the sun. I'm glad to report the Cocoon Deluxe actually comes in two sizes in this colour. So today we've seen the five metre, they also do the four metre in olive green as well. So if you are a small family in the market looking to purchase your first or even your next highly durable and robust canvas bell tent, I highly recommend you take a look at the Cocoon Deluxe from the canvas tent shop. This tent will offer you and your family absolutely loads of comfortable living space and it has a long list of fantastic features to boot to boot and that olive green colour ladies and gents still got that air of bushcraftiness about it if that's your thing I'm certainly sold on it the guys over at the canvas tent shop also offer a 12 month manufacturer's warranty for peace of mind so go and take a look just before I wrap this video up I'd like to say a massive thank you to my channel members they should be popping up on the screen now and to everyone else who follows the channel and especially those that have watched this video to the end thank you for your continued support until the next one you stay safe and as always stay crafty see you again guys bye bye